What's going on guys? Dratsk here, today we're playing Arc's File Evolved. We're on the map Fjordur, and we're going to be unlocking Mjernir, as well as Fenrir in today's episode. We're going to be doing the alpha boss fight for Fenrir. By defeating him, you unlock a wolf, and as long as you are worthy, you also get Mjernir, which is going to be a skin for your tech swords. You don't need to be ascended, you do need to be level 180, however, though. So you can either acquire that by running around the map and acquiring runes to slowly level your character up. Once you get 200, you're able to add 5 levels. Or if you're on a server with its I and I adjusted some, your servers will naturally level up a little bit higher. Other than that, you are going to have to be ascended if you don't have any of those other two options. However, getting the rune stones aren't too bad, so you should be able to do it on any of your servers. Now, just so you guys know, whenever you spawn in, the wolf's going to be all the way across from you. He has crazy damage to destroy any type of armor that you have, so make sure you're moving around constantly. I do recommend having a whole bunch of dinosaurs that are able to run at the boss while you stay in the background. For example, on this Andrew Sukis, he's got advanced rifle bullets. They're not exactly the strongest. So if you're running away from the boss, I recommend doing full speed ahead. He will actually yank you off your mount if you're on a smaller dinosaur, which is why we decided to run away once people started to have some issues here. If you bring in some Velanosaurs, they can at least attack from the hillside. Basically, though, you're not going to be considered worthy if you don't survive this boss fight. So if you die in the middle of it, even if you are past the 180 mount, let's say your buddy manages to finish this boss fight. If they drop you the tech sword with the Mjernir skin on it, you're not actually going to be able to use it at all. But once we defeat the wolf, we're going to show you guys what it actually looks like inside your inventory, some of their abilities and show off the hammer some. But yeah, just stay super far in the back here. We are on a boosted server, so our damage is a little bit higher than what you would see on like a typical official server. However, the bosses are also leveled up to our same level anyway, so it sort of equals itself out. This is a very beefy, healthy boss. Once you finally kill him, you'll notice on his body that he won't have any loot. Whatever creature that killed him, they're going to have everything. As long as you have a Ford Hawk on your shoulder, you should be able to be able to have all of your loot that you brought inside of this boss fight brought back to you if you do die. All right, so now that we're back to the regular world, you'll notice you have Fenrir and a Cryo Ball inside your inventory. It automatically comes with one for free, so that's super cool. Fenrir is going to be a lot smaller than the boss version. However, he does look a little bit different than a regular wolf. He has a couple attacks, so he has this Ice Breath ability, which can't really see it for too long and just sort of goes away, but it does do quite a bit of damage. It looks like it doesn't stun or freeze anybody. However, the coolest move he has, he can actually have an ice armor going on. So you'll notice he has a roar where spikes come out of his chest. And if you look inside of his inventory, you can see his armor mount. So this is the animation, if you guys are curious. Now he'll be armored up a little bit better. So it's sort of like having a wolf with a permanent saddle that he's able to create. Now let's take a look at Mjernir real quick. And the reason why we know our sword won't work on other people, we actually try to drop it for our buddy later on with the skin attached and a little message pops up saying you're not worthy. But as you guys can see, I am not actually ascended or anything like that, so that's not actually required. We are on a server with higher levels though, so as long as you surpass the 180 amount and you actually survive the boss fight, you'll be considered worthy enough to wield the hammer. The hammer has a cool few different moves here, so you can actually toss the hammer just like so. You can hold it out with control and it's actually going to zap people or you can throw it on the ground and do that same pulse move. Creatures that are inside the zone aren't going to get affected, but you'll notice on the outside edge, whenever something walks into it, they'll start taking damage. And if you hold control out whenever you're next to a dinosaur, it'll actually do a little bit of a lightning pulse. Now the packy gets hit since it was inside the zone before. Now it's on the outer edge. It looks like the lightning's not as strong as just physically swinging the hammer though, so just keep that in mind. This is mostly for stunning creatures. They'll still chase you a little bit, but you should be able to run around. It only does about 30 damage per hit, even with your melee boosted up, so it doesn't seem like that's too crazily overpowered. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.